that's what caused it to blow out. I twisted funny and popped it off the bead. Yeah. It flattened. Got my block where I want it. I'm gonna push down. Pick the front end of the machine up. Not even six month old tire and the thing's flat. That's what happens when you don't grade ruts out. So it's these ruts back here that did it. Too darn lazy to grade. They're half froze and yeah. Went to go twist just right and a tire blew off. Like you seen there. Yeah, right, this is getting graded up next time. This is ridiculous. This is just, yeah. All right, so it's a cold uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday before I leave. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I can't wait because, because I need a vacation, okay? And I'm going to take a vacation. I need one. And the 7810 come back home because the guy out there picking corn uh, in that water isn't done yet. So, uh, rather than let the tractor out there and get all cold and snowed on, um, we got this problem too. The frost. The frost, the frost, the frost. It builds up on this end because you know, whoever designed this building wasn't smart enough to uh, dig down to an extra foot to allow for the frost and everything because this is going uphill. Door don't slide when it's going uphill. So, yeah. And I need the 4020, okay? I need... Yes, there it is. The 4020. Okay. Now, like every good, like every good uh, farmer, I'm going to check my engine oil. Yes, I'm going to check my engine oil because, you know, it's something that you do. It's, it's something that you do um, before you start a diesel because you never know if it's going to develop a leak overnight or, or anything like that. People are like, oh my gosh, you know. You just wasted, you know, 30 seconds checking on engine oil, you know, out of my video, out of my video watching time. Well, you know what? I don't care. Okay. You want to see a cold start. You're going to see a cold start and you push the button. And just like that. Clean the 7810 out while I'm here because because Dad said I'm a pig. Okay, he said I'm a pig, but the town stay there. My other sweatshirt. Yeah, I don't know why he's got like umpteen thousand sunglasses and stuff, but. plug missing down here for the seat. I don't know, but oh well, it is what it is. So our tractor's all warmed up. Let's go hook up to something.
So it's in here to dry out or thaw out, I mean. So I'll put a bucket underneath the rear end of this thing because that pump, that pump is all froze up inside and when this thing starts leaking from the heat from that um it will make a mess in here we don't want the mess because the mess will stink and the drain don't work on this side of the shop um so that's why i put the bucket underneath the case it makes a mess well it'll make a mess but to contain a mess if that makes sense so i took a grease gun greased that pto that's why it's up there like that. Let it thaw out, warm up. Um, maybe later this afternoon we'll spread manure. I'm not going to go no more than like 25, 28 pound air because these tires are old. And they're dry rotted. And I'm just, I don't feel like going to get new tires for a used, or used tires for a manure tank. Um because I was stupid and let the things blow out. But you see here, they're just, they're weather checked, they're old, they're dry rotted. Um, it's just, it's just better. Well, this one here is not as dry rotted as the other one, but it's starting to show some signs and just stuff like that. So I figured I would quit while I was ahead. So just doing a little maintenance here on a 4020. After getting everything else greased, uh, there it is. Get the hell out of here. This is your hydraulic oil level. And of course it's empty. Uh-oh. Ah, but is it really empty? I don't know. I really... Okay, so the stick's dry. The stick is dry. Stick it back in. They could have made that thing a little bit wider for visually impaired people, farmers. Screw it in, it takes like really, really, really long time. It's just barely on the stick. Or no, it's this one that has the never ending threads. That's what it is. The Hydraulic fill cap. You can't find these old style cans anymore with the, the spout on them. They just, they don't make them no more. And you gotta have the spout with the way the seed is. That spout makes it so darn nice for like dumping hydraulic oil. There, the thing's empty. But, uh, it makes it ever so nice for like adding engine oil and stuff like this. If anybody runs across a can like this, let me know. I think they're only worth like, well, now they're probably worth 50 bucks or so because nobody makes them anymore. Well, that was two gallon so far with that being a gallon container. Oh yeah, we're good. It's right, right there. If you guys can make that out, it's right in the safe zone. Well, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of seeing me walk around in a shop, but I got to do something before I get started with this apparatus of a machine. Is I want to mark. Take a paint stick here and mark this um, valve which way it should go because 
I had to look at a YouTube video of how I ran this thing. Um, I had to look at a YouTube video on how to how to run this thing because I couldn't remember for the life of me if that was to load or unload with it being down. Yeah, I think you guys will like what I've done. And all it took was a paint stick. There. And that goes for that black lever there. Lever down is load. Lever up is unload. That makes sense. I don't know if it's just paranoia or what. But I always, I always double check my PTOs. Because I don't trust a little button. Half the time, the door bar is in, jack's put away, we're good to go. So I presume we're ready to make some noise. Just now trying to get set up to that one there. Made a mess. That's why I got went and got me a rag. I dripped pig manure on that white handle up there. Wipe it off before it gets all over me. Cause I really don't want that stuff all over me. It stinks enough the way it is, but oh well. It is what it is. There, get that all cleaned up. Well, so we're all done now with the pig manure, just letting the thing drain out. Um, so we can put it in the building and it not crap the building up. Let it crap out here and make the mess. And, but yeah, it don't take much pig manure to stink the neighborhood up. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.